Jesus said, I am the way. He said, I am the way. Most of us, we are looking for a way. In or the way out. But he said, I am the way. He said, I am the truth and I am the life. Some of us say, oh my God, my life is not good. I, I, I've been there many, many, many times. And but Jesus said, my life, I am your life and I am life. You know, he said, I am the way. I wish he would say, I am your way. <laughs> but you know what, when he said, I am the way, that means I am your way. I'm the way for your neighbor. I'm the way for your loved one. I'm the way for the whole world. But I need to understand and I need to allow this truth to ring in me constantly. That Jesus would say, I am your way. I am your truth. And I am your life. Okay. I wanted to talk about the truth when Jesus said, I am the truth. I'm driving and I'm just thinking, I would just, you know, life has its own difficulty. Every one of us, we have our own, own difficulty. We face our own fear, our problems and our challenges and everything. I'm, I was driving, I said, you know, when, when a challenge comes, I kind of like uh, scan myself to see how I feel. And then I come up with things. Sometimes I recite the scriptures. Sometimes I say, come and have more faith. Sometimes the fear will grip my throat, you know, and then it's like a wrestling with the fear. While I was driving and thinking about all those things, I said, how do you really feel? See, we feel in the surface, there is a lot of feeling. But I asked myself, and I wanted to check myself instead of scanning the shallow part of me. I want to scan the deep part of me. And I really want to see how I feel or what is going on inside me. Like truly what's going on inside me. When the difficulty comes, of course, I'm just reciting a scripture. To me, kind of like that could be a shallow part of me. When I go really deep in the de depth of me, I scan myself, underneath me reciting a scripture, sometimes I find myself a man of God. How could that be? That I am mad of God, but I'm masking my disappointment with me reciting a scripture. See, eternity was planted in our heart. That means we are very, very, very deep. I'm not saying shallow is bad, but we are very deep in an amazing, in a beautiful way. In that sense, I could scan my life in the surface and see what's going on and be discouraged. I could scan my heart and my mind in a shallow way and see what's going on and kind of give a shallow uh, answer or shallow solution or I could go deeper and say what do I really feel and not to be afraid that oh my god if I say it God is going to get mad he's going to see that anyway okay let's talk about the truth to me when I truly ask myself how I feel about my life and myself or the situation I'm facing, if I truly go deep and uncover my feeling, my belief, and everything is there, and I am uncovering the truth, and that naked truth, even if it's ugly truth, it's a truth, it sits there, and that's right there is Jesus. Because Jesus said, I am the truth. If deep down inside I'm disappointed at God, toward God, and I'm even to a degree mad of Him, 
that's me. I'm sitting there. And I'm speaking the truth. I'm not saying that I have the right to be mad or disappointed, but I'm speaking the truth. I am mad. I'm not lying. This is the truth. And when I speak the truth, when I see the truth, I just saw Jesus and I spoke Jesus. And the truth shall set you free. We always thought, I always thought, oh, the truth shall set me free. This beautiful truth that comes from heaven or Jesus walks in and sets me free. Not realizing why when Bible said, confess your sin to one another, you will be uh, healed. Meaning, confess means to speak out your sin, meaning anything that is hurting you, anything that you are missing the mark, and you will be healed. Meaning, speak the truth, the real deep truth, not the shallow truth. Speak how you truly feel about the situation that you're facing or about your life. And that right there, because you spoke the truth, you spoke Jesus, and the truth will set you free, and the truth will set me free. could always see what's happening in the moment on the surface and we would miss what's happening for eternity in the depth. In that moment when Jesus was crucified, the disciple, actually only John was standing there and Mary, I think, and the mother of our Lord Jesus and the Mary Magdalene and John. In that moment, they saw him being crucified. It looked horrible. But in eternity, we are all God saved. In that moment, Paul was beheaded. Or before that, every moment of his life, he was just having so much difficulties and face so many problems, but the death worked in him that the life would work in us. When I look at the surface and when I look at the moment, I would miss eternity and the death and what God is really doing and what is really happening and what is the truth, even about how I feel. Then in that sense, it's a great question to ask, how do I really feel about this? Not to recite scripture and just try to mask my feeling, but to say, I am what I am. Then you help me, oh great I am. This is me. This is naked me. This is my naked feeling, naked truth. I think that's all for now.